Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're taking a look at as Geekway to the West. This is held here at the St. Charles Convention Center here in St. Charles right next to St. Louis. And this is a convention that kind of grew out of, you know, just some people getting together to play in someone's basement to a convention that is 3,000 people and it's all about playing games. Let's go inside. Here we are inside the front hall. This is like the main hallway, and yet you'll see that there are games all up and down it. You know, there are tables and stuff. But the main place that people play games is here in the exhibit hall. Now this hall is gonna be packed later on. This is just me coming in uh, for, just for reference purpose, this is 9 a.m. Saturday morning. There's a lot of people for 9 a.m. Saturday morning. So you just can see everyone here just having a lot of fun and playing games. So, this is a play to win library. You come in and you play these games, and then if you, if you do, you have a chance to win them. And there is so many games to win. It's really cool. You have a good chance of winning a game just by playing a lot of these in here. It's a really cool concept, and as far as I can tell, it originated here at this convention. So after you play one of the games, you drop your card in, and then they'll be drawing. And this year they changed the rules so you can only win one game, which means there's going to be a whole lot more winners. So I think the whole thing is a pretty cool idea. Here is the library. So you can see they got the players wanted meeples and teachers wanted meeples. And then just a gigantic library, which is in alphabetical order as most libraries are these days. Although they got these little small card games here like this. So many games. Anytime someone, I mean, there are just so many games that exist. And most of these games are not Cult of the New. That's a lot of that's in the play to win room. You know, there's some old classic games, some old games that are probably not classic, but you know, just a lot of cool games. You're probably looking at this now and thinking, man, I wish I could play whatever that game is. Games I never heard of. How to Serve Man. Never heard of it. There's the Key Flower games and Keeper. We could make a video just on the gaming library for sure. There's nothing personal. I heard that's designed by classic designers. So here's more on the first floor. And uh, there's places to eat here and get drinks. And then there's escalators that go up to the second floor where there's even more gaming, but there's tables all over the place here in the lobby and place to play games. And then so down here's another hallway and you can see people playing games out here but there's also another whole little small ballroom of people playing games you can see the doors open to it in the background there so here is the other ballroom now because it's nine o'clock saturday morning this one is not full but i'm going to wager at nine o'clock tonight it will be much more full although i won't be here to uh record it at that point in time and it seems like more people want to play outside the ballroom than in it so now we're on the first floor again and we're spinning around to the north hallway this is where vendor demos are yeah so vendors have like first spot at this so you can see some signs in here already for different games here we see a um overlord memoir 44. here there's an escape room that's in here and trade table submissions and then over here we have the exhibit hall. So let's go take a look in there. So this is the exhibit hall before it's open. Once it opens, it will be a lot more crowded in here for sure. People will be going around playing games. And it's not a very big exhibit hall. This is one of three rows. So you can see we got genius games here. Showing off their fantastic science games. Asthma Day. Probably buying companies. Nah, just kidding. Uh, they're just showing off some games from, like they're showing off Catan. History of the World, Bezier Games here in the corner, um, a couple other places, How to Beat Brain Cancer, Green Couch Games, Grand Gamers Guild, May Day Games. Then we pop here into row two, where we have Yellow, Extra Life, we have r, &R Games, we have Devere, Smirk and Dagger, Floodgate Games. 
There we see Feudum and Colossal. Here's some dummies which freak everybody out. Here's Berkey showing off his table topper stuff. Playco games, straight ahead of us, Fireside. Indie boards and cards. I don't, Crypt Monkey Studios, I don't really know them. And then we'll spin the corner. Now you'll see there's a wall ahead of us. They're gonna bring this wall down right before 10, actually. They started doing it. You can see it's half down over here. This is Stronghold Games, which they're keeping walled up because that makes sense. Gray Fox Games, and then that's Miniature Market. The rest of this aisle, where they're showing off games, Miniature Market is located in this area, and they're showing things off. And that's pretty much it for my coverage of Geekway. It's a lot of fun. There's not a lot of shows or a lot of things going on here um, because it's just about playing games. But there's a lot of that going on here. And if you're in this area at all, highly recommend. One of the nicest, best conventions I've ever been to. Check them out. Geekway to the West. Yeah.